Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna learn how to code an acronym generator in Python. Without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open up your Python environment. Um, I personally like to use Repl.it, but we're gonna call this acronym uh, generator. And let's just boot up the environment here. All right guys, now that we're in our Python environment, we could begin to start coding things. So the first thing we're gonna need is let's just create a uh, main method here. So we're gonna say if underscore underscore name double underscore is equal to, and then in here, we're gonna do double underscore again, main double underscore, and then a colon. And inside of this main method, all we're gonna simply do is just have a infinite uh, while loop here. And then we're going to say acronym. And acronym is a function that we're going to write right now. So go ahead and copy this, paste it up here on line one, and yeah, now we're going to actually make the logic that will run this um, acronym generator. So let's think about the workflow of how this program will operate. First, we will need to prompt the user for some sort of sentence or phrase that they intend to turn into an acronym. Then following that, we need to you know, take that thing that they provided, split it up, um, exclude words that we might not need in the acronym, like many acronyms don't use the word and, for example. So let's exclude stuff like that. And then we need to take the first letter in every word and then, you know, put that into some sort of variable and then capitalize them all. And then there you have your acronym. So now that we have all that knowledge thought out for the workflow of this, let's just start um, coding. So first we're going to have user input is equal to and then input which we're gonna to use to um, you know, gather a string from the user. And then we're going to say, please provide a phrase to turn into an acronym with a colon and a space. And after they've provided whatever sentence or phrase they intend to turn into the acronym, as I said earlier, we now need to exclude the word and from that you know, sentence. So what we're gonna do is just have this little area saying optional exclusions, and then in here, we're just going to say exclusions is equal to, and then user input. And then you can call this function called dot replace, or sorry, method. And what this is going to do is just basically say like, hey, inside of this string, uh, what do you actually want to you know, replace in here? There's two parameters. The first one is the thing you're looking for. And the second thing is the thing you want to replace that with. So let's open up our parentheses. The first thing that we want to look for is the word and. And then the second thing that we want to um, replace the word and with is nothing. So just leave these blank. All right, guys, now that we know that this exclusions variable here um, holds you know, a phrase that needs to be turned into an acronym and it doesn't have the word and in it, um, we can now split up that sentence into a array of words that we can loop through. So how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna say word array is equal to the exclusions variable dot split and this dot split method here is just going to be, um, you know, you provide it a character that you'd like to break it up on. And our character is going to be just a space. And yeah, it's going to make us an array. Now that we have that out of the way, we can begin to loop through this array and assemble our acronym. So before we begin our loop, we're just going to initialize this variable here. Acronym is equal to blank. And then we're going to say for word in word array. And we're just gonna have a little check here before we do anything. And we're gonna say, hey, if the word is equal to nothing, um, then don't, basically don't do anything. Actually, we're gonna say not equals, that way we don't have to have an else. So as long as the word that we're currently on isn't blank, then we will assemble it into our acronym variable in here. So I'll add another line here. And inside of this if, all we're gonna say is acronym, plus equals the word at zero. And that's literally all it is for that. So now that that loops over, we also have to capitalize our acronym. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say acronym is equal to acronym dot upper. And dot upper is just a uh, method in Python that you can use to capitalize everything inside of a string. And finally, we know we have our acronym complete. So let's just print it out to the user. We're gonna say print and then um, F, and then inside of these quotes here, we're going to say your acronym is colon space. And then with these brackets, we can reference the variable we want to print out. So we're gonna say acronym. 
And now that that's done, let's go ahead and run our program and make sure that it works. All right, guys, now that our program is running, let's give it a simple phrase that it can turn into an acronym. A pretty common one that I feel like most people should know is the CIA, for example, like the Central Intelligence Agency. So let's just type that in. Central Intelligence Agency, click Enter. And you'll see that it properly turned that into an acronym because it says CIA. So now let's give it a little bit harder of one. Um, the one that I referenced earlier, like NASA, for example. So NASA is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Now this is a little harder because it includes the word and. Um, like the real acronym is NASA, N-A-S-A. -A. Um, and yeah, as long as our program works, it should exclude the word and, and then just print out NASA. So let's click Enter. And you'll notice that our acronym is NASA. So that works perfectly. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.